Skiz made easy, skiz made easy, skiz made easy is the way to go. Hello and welcome to Skills Made Easy. Today our video is on guess how to make an occupied bed. I've seen so many of us struggle making an occupied bed. As always on this channel, we are going to make it very easy for you to make an occupied bed. So if you are interested to see how easy you can make an occupied bed, stay tuned. Making an occupied bed involves changing the linen on the bed. By so doing, we help to prevent infection and also make the bed very comfortable for the resident to sleep on. Remember, making an occupied bed, you have to change the sheets with the resident in bed, unlike an unoccupied bed, which is empty. We have to start by introducing our supplies. And they are, we need a towel to create a barrier on the table before we place our supplies, also for infection control. A pillowcase to change the pillow case the, oh, the dirty one we need the bath blanket to cover the resident this is the draw sheet we we'll place underneath the resident this is the fitted sheet to replace the old and dirty one this is our top sheet we use it to cover the resident and last of all, we have our blanket. This is the blanket we cover the resident up with. So we are going to need all the supplies to make an occupied bed. So keep watching. Another step we have to take to ensure we save time, especially when we are testing, is arranging our supplies in the order we are going to make use of them so we don't keep searching for one supply when we need it so since we're going to start we're going to start first of all by covering the residents when we have already set up everything to, to begin we need this to begin to start so we have to put this place this at the top so i'm going to place it here and the next thing we'll need is this fitted sheet followed by the draw sheet and we have the flat sheet the pillowcase and last of all the blankets so you may think why is she ordering all those things why is she putting all those things on top instead of at the to, to be at the bottom watch we are just going to flip this over like that and we have our supplies in an arranged way in an arranged order you see so let's begin we already have a video on how to begin and end a step so we are not just gonna begin we're not just gonna show all that so if you need to see those the video I will link it somewhere on this video okay so we're going to start, first of all, make sure you provide privacy. It is very important. We don't want to expose the resident in any way. Hello, my name is Jovette. I'm going to be your CNA for today. Can I take a look at your wrist? Oh, you are Miss Mary. Miss Mary, how are you doing today? Today I'm going to be helping you change your sheets to clean sheets. I know you love clean sheets. Okay, so we're going to be doing just that. Make sure the call light is not on the bed. Okay? Sideways up. Prometric is not big about the sideways thing. So do not be so cautious of it. Alright? But if you want to use it, that's fine. Okay. I'm going to go in here and raise the sideways up. Now, we are going to raise the bed. I want to raise the bed to my walking height. 
make sure you do this because it's part of safety no matter how long it takes just do it so this walking height is perfect for me you may have we all have a different working height so your waist level is your working height so let's begin first of all we are going to bring down the side rail on this side that we're working on i'm going to done my first glove done your first glove and we're gonna place the blanket on the resident you place the blanket gently and unfold gently you don't want to shake try not to shake because we are preventing infection we don't want to spread infection so gently unfold this way if you have to move it around you do so but in a gentle way so now i can ask the resident if she's able to hold the top for me if not i'll tuck it under her chin then I'll start to roll the, the dirty sheet down. Remember, this is also to pr provide cover or privacy, privacy for the residents. Try not to expose them. While you're doing that, you're making sure no part of her body is exposed. So since this is dirty, we're going to fold from yeah like not touching the dirty part so we're going to put it in the laundry basket so the dirty sheet is off okay now that we have the dirty top sheet and blanket in the laundry basket we are now going to make sure miss mary c have her hand giving herself a hug and i'm going to help her roll her left foot on top of her right foot that is because i'm rolling her towards me i want her left foot towards the direction of the road so at the count of three we're going to roll miss mary towards me but before i do that i'm going to take my daddy glove off because i have touched those daddy sheets so i'm going to place it in the trash can and I will sanitize my hand and help Miss Mary roll towards me at the count of three with good body mechanics. Holding on to her shoulder and her hip. One, two, three. Now I'm going to raise the side rail up on this side. I'm going to help Miss Mary grab onto the side rail. Okay. Okay, perfect okay perfect while she is doing that i'm gonna go on the other side with my clean my new glove and my supplies before i don my glove i'm gonna place the side rail down on this side i'll done my my glove that is my second glove because i had to take the dirty sheets from on top of her that was when we used the first glove if it was already fan folded and taken off then i wouldn't need to do that now i'm gonna since she's on her side what we call lateral position I'm going to use this opportunity to take the pillow off her head because I need to take this dirty case off. So I'm going to do this. I try as much as possible to grab from the inside all the time. All right? To minimize 
the spread of infection. I'm going to place in the laundry basket over here and I'm going to take the dirty feeder sheet off from this side. I can place this here. Take the dirty feeder sheet, tuck it underneath as far as we can go from here. Rolling it, the, the clean, the bottom side to be on the top. So, now I'm gonna take my dirty glove off because I've touched the dirty linen, place in the trash, sanitize my hand, then I'm gonna grab the clean fitted sheets. I'm gonna start from here to fit it in. Remember not to shake. That is to prevent spread of infection what we call infection control. So I'm gonna make sure I have the right side facing up. Okay. I'm gonna fit this side in. Remember, we're gonna take it one step at a time. Now I'm gonna spread it. Try as much as possible not to um, not to let both dirty and clean meet. So we're gonna move it. Now I'm also gonna take my pillowcase, fill it in here. Fit the pillowcase in. Try not to shake. Just do it gently, like so. All right. Now I'm also gonna take my draw sheet and place it halfway, just like I did with the fitted sheet. That is to prevent us from going back and forth. You don't want to go over there and you're coming back here. Remember when you're testing, you're going to be timed. So I'm going to fold it to make it easier for me to have even, even this, to, to, to make it easier for me to have equal sheets on both sides. So I'm going to fold Place it up to where the clean sheet stopped on this side. Yes. We are okay on this side. Now I'm going to bring the side rail up. Move my clean supplies with me. So while I'm here, I'm going to ask Miss Mary to roll back. So I'm going to put the side rail down. After having Miss Mary go down on her back, we're going to don our third and last glove for this skill, okay? Now, I'm going to take the remaining part of the dirty sheet from under, if I'm folded downwards, while touching the underneath part, I'm gonna take it gently and I'll place it in the laundry basket. Now I'm gonna take my dirty glove off. Remember the dirty glove is mainly to touch dirty linen. Now I'm gonna try to grab the clean sheet from underneath. Remember, we have everything lined up, so I'm going to fit it in, starting from this part.
see so we're going to take this out also now work on making sure she's well aligned and comfortable We're gonna work. We're gonna work on making sure Miss Mary is well aligned and comfortable. And now help her place the pillow. Correctly. Okay. Now it's time for us to place the top sheet to cover her up so we can take the blanket from under, just like we started. Remember, we're going to do just that. If you need to move them around, try not to shake. Again, you can have Miss Mary hold on to the top of the sheet while you get ready to take the blanket from under. Miss Mary, can you grab on this sheet? Thank you. Now I'm gonna take, unfold this blanket from under. Making sure I protect her privacy while doing that. I'm going to take the blanket down and place it in the laundry. This is the, sh the blanket we placed on her just to provide privacy for the meantime. Okay. Now we're making sure everything is well aligned. I have the blanket. Now it's time to place the blanket on top of the resident. Place the blanket to cover her up. Some people like their sheet to be tucked in, some don't. Depends on what is applicable. The most important thing is for you not to touch the clean sheet with a dirty glove. have this on top of this if it is too high up you can also fold it down make sure they have room on their foot ensure they have room so they don't struggle their, their foot has room for movement. So when you, after um, talking, um, after laying it, you make sure there is room for movement, okay? So bring the side rib. And now, we are going to make the hospital corner.
Now to finish up, we're going to make the Midas Corner or what some of us call the hospital corner. To achieve that, first of all, try to tuck the excess from here as if you're trying to make a triangle. Now you're going to lift up this portion and form a triangle and tuck the excess underneath and drop it here you have the hospital corner all right very simple i'm going to do it again there are other ways to do it you can also leave it this way and just grab and make a triangle top the excess and drop it all right make sure you don't have wrinkles right there this is for those who find it difficult to do the first side that I showed us. The first one is you tuck the excess as if you're forming a triangle. Then you take from the bottom here and form another triangle and tuck the remaining sheet underneath and drop it. Here you have your hospital corner. All right very simple after that do not forget to bring the bed to a safe level let the resident know you believe in remember the call light always and stay tuned for more videos coming from skills made easy peace